Hello, this is Orlando Mayor of Buddy Dyer. Welcome to the City Museum. I'm always fired up going into Orlando. It is the hometown track. Traditionally, I don't think I've ever done well at Orlando. Usually it's not the best showing of my driving ability, but surprisingly, I feel pretty good there. It's a very simple track and I, I know what to do. So going in there, I had a lot of confidence and sure enough, it was my best finish ever at that track and I wound up placing the top eight. I took out Forsberg in the top 16, which was sweet. We've had a lot of battles together. I'm not sure if I've won any of them before, but that was definitely a, a big confidence booster. And we wound up losing our top eight battle against Hero. I had a uh, mechanical issue where the engine essentially brought its rev limiter down to like 5,000 RPM and was practically undrivable. So I would have liked to have a working car so we could have had a heads up battle and see if I could have won. Um, but uh, it turned out to be just the intake manifold had pinched one of the wires and one of the sensors and there was a weird setting where basically it lowered the rev limiter when that sensor failed out and uh, yeah that definitely didn't help and we wound up losing in top eight. Now the highlight of Jersey for me was of course getting a podium, third place, uh, it's my second best ever finish in Pro 1 Formula Drift, and probably the biggest deal podium that that E36 has ever seen. Uh, probably highlight battle for me was going against Osbo, taking him out, I felt like that was one of my best runs in FD of my life. I remember entering pretty much backwards behind him, and I was having issues with the car where the steering wheel was getting stuck at big rates of angle, so I'm pretty much stuck going backwards into the side of his car. He picked up throttle at the perfect time, I was able to get back on throttle, and and um, yeah, no, that was definitely a big deal for me. After taking out Osbo, I was like, man, if I can take him out, I can take anyone out. Um, he's probably one of the best drivers that I've ever driven with. Um, so that was a huge confidence booster. Going into my last battle that I had with Odie, which would have been the final four. Looking back at those runs, we both made pretty big mistakes. And I think if anything, I just wish we could have gone one more time and had a heads up battle. Uh, no one likes to win that way. I don't think that I should have won that way. I don't think that he should have won that way. And I wish we could have run it back, but either way, third place finish, not bad. And uh, I was pretty excited about that. St. Louis, of course, as I've said now on almost every round, was not in the plans and the car had actually come back to Florida because I wasn't planning to go there, uh, but we wound up going there. I'd say a large amount of that just being from the hype from my fans, you know, uh, all the comments, everyone wanted to see me continue driving and pushing through the season. I obviously had felt good in the car at E-Town, but more than anything, I knew that the setup was going to be pretty similar at St. Louis as E-Town and we were really fast at E-Town, so I was like, all right. I think that we have a winning car right here. Um, so it would be kind of silly not to take that to St. Louis where a lot of the same advantages would uh, come into play. I had some big struggles in St. Louis. Again, the front steering uh, kind of binding until I pick up throttle at high rates of angle became a really big issue at the end of the track. Um, because they changed the zone, the characteristic of that corner was very difficult, um, but we ended up doing pretty well. Uh, we had a bad crash against Hobson, um, but uh, it worked out in our favor that he wound up having some issues. And then when we ran it back, we wound up getting the win. And then of course, uh, the worst thing that happened, um, in my battle with Hero, uh, I think, I would say it's kind of a combination factor. I was being a little aggressive and kind of changed my line as of where I was entering behind him. His rate to angle was a bit slower than other people that I had driven with. I wound up hitting my rear wheel to his wheel. Uh, from there, there's really not much that I could do. It brought my car up in the air and then we were into the wall. Uh, it was a, a major bummer. I'd always said that I would drive that car until it was totaled. And um, once I got out of the car and looked at it after riding the whole Jersey barrier around, um, it was definitely totaled. So. It's a bummer and is not how I would have liked to have lost the battle, but again, you know, a top eight finish is still really good coming from a season where I basically didn't get any wins except for one competition win. You know, it's been a really good season thus far, but it wasn't the way that I would have liked it to have ended.